This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video. This is probably going to be the last time I play with this Jax Knight deck, or Mech Knights rather, as it's known in the TCG. Uh, again, I'm going to be doing the same thing I did in the previous video, where I've got Grinder Golem in my list, and I've got Security Dragon and Summon Sorcerers in my extra deck, which are two very clearly OCG cards. Uh, they're the only OCG cards in this uh, in this list that we don't know if we're going to be getting in the TCG when Extreme Force drops. So if I have a play involving Grinder Golem that is good and does not utilize uh, or cannot utilize Security Dragon, uh, mainly like with Lavender Dusk and uh, Azure uh, Blue, Azure Sky. Being, uh, being the combo enabler there, then I will go for that play. But if I have a better play, if I don't have that kind of play, I'll go for the Security Dragon play, just so I, you know, have a better position in games, because I'm not really trying to test this as a TCG legal option. I don't think this deck is very good uh, when Extreme Force drops, which is upsetting, because this is, like, the best archetype from Extreme Force. This set is not looking very promising at all. Um, the only thing looking good out of Extreme Force is the imports we're getting from the Vrains pack, unfortunately. So, not really going to be a set that's too very impactful in terms of what's in its core things. Except for Skulldee. This card's amazing. This card's the entire purpose this deck got built. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm just going to play this for like probably you know just two or three more games. This will probably be the last time I play them until they get either some more support or a better way to utilize the deck comes forward. Uh, and basically, that's just that. So, without any further ado, let's just jump straight into the first game and see how this shit goes. Alright, so... Okay, cool. Get it to go first. Um, I've been I've been having a whale of a time on uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Pro, as per usual. People just not reading cards. People just leaving as soon as they see a grinder golem. People bitching about grinder golem. It it gives me it gives me so much joy. Um, okay, so this is one of those plays I was talking about where I've got a Zer Blue, so I'm gonna use it um, before I do my Skull Deep play. Uh, it means the play is worse overall. Uh, because what it means is it means that um, is that it means that I don't get to dig off a Kashik Magician, um, but I mean that's that's kind of just what you have to do. Um, that's what I'm doing to make it a TCG legal combo uh, while still playing the cards in my extra deck because the extra deck is very uh, it's very not tight. It's very fluid um, for uh, what you're able to do. But so yeah, we'll use this. I'll search for Lavandar. Because this gets more searches. Uh, and then we'll go into the Link Rebo and then go into Skull Deep. And that should give us something to work with. That Shine Ball is going to go back. Uh, depending on what I draw, the, uh, the Golden Blossom is going back. There's a few different things that I have capable access into. Uh, Alright, so. This is going back 100%. Um, I don't need the trade-in, although I could use it. So we'll put this back. Um, I can summon this banish to get a search, trade in, um, then put this on the board. Yeah, I want to keep both lavenders. Yeah. Well, actually, do I care? Because I can use key to add it back and summon it again. So yeah, we'll we'll put the lavender back. All right. So that works. So now what I have access into doing is I can special this. Uh, with its own effect, get a search for a card, um, and then uh, from there I'll be able to trade in. I'll get Cobalt Depths. My opponent has surrendered. Well, fantastic! It's not what I wanted, but you know what? I'm keeping it. To hell with it. Alright, so let's see where we get to go from here. I am possibly not going first, but that's fine because this deck is a decent enough going second deck. Uh, I've got Grinder Golem going second. I've got these cards, which Grinder Golem will make a one card Skull Deep play and put some of these back. I'm playing against a 60 card deck, which means I'm expecting grass. Um, we'll see how this one goes. We will see how this one goes. What is this? Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. A 60 card Odd Eyes deck? Oh my lord, you're just playing a Yuya deck, aren't you? I'm just going to punish you. I'm, I'm having a bad day. You're just going to get punished. You are going to get punished. I'm going to summon Grinder Golem, and you're probably going to leave. <sighs> Shit. All right. Okay, that cool. That card's cool. Well, we'll special uh, Grinder Golem, 
this grinder golem is already more impactful than the entirety of your previous turn. Uh, and then we'll just we'll do this play. I'm gonna make a one card skull deep because I don't have the capability of searching um, a azure sky or blue sky. Can't remember if his name is Azur Sky or Blue Sky in the TCG. I think it's Blue Sky. Um, but I don't have access into it anyway, so that means I can't do the TCG version of this play. Uh, but I can go into Security Dragon. Oh. Um, but the fact that even playing Security Dragon, which we don't even know if we're getting in the TCG, and this deck still is kind of unreliable, it's unfortunate. It's a really cool theme. It's got all of the support cards that it needs on paper to be good, but at the same time, just like Magical Musketeers, those also look really good on paper. Um, it just it becomes a problem. I should have done the firewall play first. Okay, well we'll just we'll dig with this then. Um, I want the Agent of Creation Venus. That's a card I want to try and get into my hand first. Max C and Grinder Golem. All right, fuck it. <laughs> Uh, I was supposed to make Firewall first, and I could have dug for five, or dug for four, and then bounced the Grinder Golem, but you know what? At this point, I'm okay with where this is at, because now, well the thing is, now since I only play one Link Karibo, um, well I do play two Link Spiders. Uh, do I two, I do play two Link Spiders, so I can still do the Firewall play. It's just worse, because it takes more of my extra deck out. I should have, I should have, uh, I should have acknowledged that earlier. Uh, but what I can do is I can take this Grinder Golem uh, from my graveyard and put it on his field. Now, nah, just take the one off the Monster Zone. Um, and I can Special Summon it now. Getting more tokens. Getting Link Spider this time. <sighs> and then uh, and then that'll allow me to go into the Skull Deep for four. I used the Link Karibo prematurely, not thinking about it. It was still salvageable, but it just took an extra card out of my extra deck that it didn't need to. Alright, there's Venus, there's Soul Charge. This is going back. This is going back. I've got... What do I have in my grave? I've got... That's, uh, that is my graveyard. It was all blue, so I thought it might not have been. I don't have any of these, uh, these in my grave yet, so I'll put back another True Depths. And so that's that. Now I can use Skull Deet to Special Summon Venus out of my hand over here. And then I can Venus for another Skull Deep. Yeah, I like this. I like this play. This play is the kind of play I enjoy. It's a good play. Very good play. Double Skull Deep. Draw eight cards. Put back the worst six. Yeah. I like this play a lot. I love this card. Skull Deep is such a boss monster. Like, <laughs> and it's so, it's so unfair, yet it's also just balanced because it's not like something degenerate like Firewall. It's not like, oh, just special summon every card out of your hand. Um, Alright, so. The play from here is to make this into an Imduk. And then go with these four into another Skulldeet up here. And then this can be used for something later. Potentially. Uh, the thing is, yeah, because I fucked up with that Link Karibo, now I don't have the suitable Link Spiders uh, in my extra deck to do the, uh, to do the, uh, the fullest extent of the play. Which is irritating. But, hey man, I did this to myself. Uh, so yeah, we'll do this. We'll dig for more cards. Uh, we'll put back this. We'll put back this. We'll put back this. I'm not, I don't know why I'm holding the Soul Charge. Considering that I'm trying to, like, I could go for a game this turn. That's a good card. Oh shit. Um, I can special this. Boom. And then we get Search as... And I got Sarchas! Uh, okay, so I'm gonna search for... I've got Cobalt Depths, I've got Lavender. I'm just gonna search for Red Man. Nothing, uh, nothing to worry about there. Uh, I can set this here. I can special my Cobalt Depths here. Uh, Skull Deet will give me my boost. I can activate this. Moving this uh, over one. I can special this guy from my hand. Uh, do I have a monster in grave to deal with that nonsense? I believe I've already checked. No, I do not. Um, and so now I can use this Skull Deet to special Lavender Dusk out of my hand. Uh, and now from here, I think we're just we're fine and dandy and ready to go. If this was in attack mode, I could attack over this, but I suck at this game. 
so that's not how we go about business. <laughs> I suck at this game, but at least I'm competent enough to read cards. To a certain degree. My opponent has surrendered. Damn right. I'm I'm just I'm so agitated at this point. This isn't even fun anymore. Fuck. I'm so angry. I'm going into the next game. Angry face into the next game. I think that I just need to start live streaming more regularly and play people through the live stream and then with that get games for you know ch the channel through that because that way people that want to play me are the people I'm playing against and then like the thing is I'd have to find a way to deal with stream sniping but the only way to deal with that while not impacting the video would be like the honor system of like okay just be cool dude just leave the stream mute the stream do whatever close the stream and then uh and then just uh, come back when you're done, and that way you know there's a video going up. <laughs> like that's that's the only way that I can uh, that's the only way I can think to do it. I can summon this other grinder golem. <laughs> uh, I've got the lavender dusk play, so we're gonna do that. Like I said, TCG legal. Uh, this is the TCG legal way to do this, so we're gonna do it. Um, and that searches for blue sky, which then can be special summoned, and then get a search. And it ends up being like a plus, uh, because like even though you're using more resources, this comes back next turn, so it's like a floating plus. Um, but so we'll get Cobalt Depths, and now from here, I get to go into the Skull Deet directly. Actually, no. I could make Security Dragon, but we're not going to. Yeah, we're going into Skull Deet directly. Um, so we'll summon this, and then we'll go into Skull Deetum. Boink. Um, use Skull Deed Effect. Uh, use... Man, can't think of anything else that I'd rather do other than keep these Shine Balls in my hand. Boy, howdy. Um, alright. So. I do not have access to a True Depths. I'm going to keep the Soul Charge. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back. I'm going to put these cards back. And I'm going to Special Cobalt Depths. I can special grinder golem, I can make another skull beat. Yes. That is the way we are going to do this business. Summon these tokens. Grinder golem. Um, now I can special this cobalt depths. I'll be able to soul charge at the end of all of this. Uh, so this is fine. Uh, I'm gonna make those into a I'm gonna make one of these tokens into a Link Spider. Uh, so that I have four different names. Skull D is triggering like a madman. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna activate its effect summon this over here uh, so it's just chilling and then we'll go into another skull deed and I'm going to use that one because it's the one that's not getting the boost uh, but yes I'll use its effect draw four more lavender dusks all right uh, well hmm questions 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 I've already used lavender dusk I'll put this back I'll put this back and I'll put this back. Um, and I'll upstart. And I'm just basically trying to dig for true depths. Oh, I got a whisper. <laughs> That's not the way we wanted that to go. How dare ye. Alright, well. Anyway. What I get to do is I get to... Uh, I get to use this to move it. And then I can soul charge back a bunch of shit and make a firewall under this. Um... And then we just, we are pretty well off, I'd assume. Uh, I can, let's see, what, what cards are left in my extra deck that I can utilize? Uh, I've got access to another Skull Deed, which, I mean, I could definitely make off of this Soul Charge. <laughs> ah! Skull Deed! Skull Deed. I'm going to bring back these two. I'm going to bring back this. And I'm going to bring back uh, the Skull Deed. Tee hee. Um, so we'll bring back, what is this? This is Skull Deet. Uh, Skull Deet is coming back here. Akashic Magician is coming back here. Azure Sky coming back here. And, uh, Cobalt Depths coming back here. Alright. Uh, so now these Skull Deet, the Skull Deet and these are huge. Um, and so now what I want is I want to link away... Uh, one, two, three, I can link away one, two, three, 
four. I don't want to link away four though. That's boring. Um, I really want to just put this on the board. Uh, so what I need to do is I need to go into I can go into another skull deet with these, but I want to preserve this skull deet because it can special summon from hands. Wait, no, it can't because it was summoned from grave. All right, that's that's the way we have to look at this. Um, I can go into another skull deet with one, two, three, four. I can special this from hand. Yes. <laughs> we're just doing this for the sake of doing it. Uh, that's what we're doing. Oh, wait. I have to do another name other than this. Okay, cool. Um, all right, we'll do this then. Hell yeah. All right. Boom. Effect. Draw. Boink. Boink. Um, and this is coming back already, so I need to be mindful. Um, but so we will put back... Uh, we're going to put back the two keys. Um... Uh, I don't necessarily need that card. Uh, but so I can activate this to special this out of my hand. Now I've got True Depths. <laughs> this was the most weird turn one I think I've ever played out. But you know what? It was worth it! <laughs> Alright. Um, he's got two Grinder Golems, which I have to respect. Um, oh, he's playing this deck too! No! <laughs> All right. Terraforming. Uh, well, we'll go Whisper. Increase attack and defense. Yes, this is already at 31, so this is at 3,000. I'll increase this one, and then I'll use its effect to move it over here. Um, hide the fact that I've got True Depths. You know, he's playing this deck as well. And I just turboed my entire turn one into what is basically three Mech Knight monsters because I've got the, the True Depths. But I mean, I picked and choosed every card I wanted on my field. I think my Soul Charge was really underwhelming. <laughs> I think my Soul Charge was literally awful. Um, okay, so now when you activate this, I'll just use True Depths. He, I've probably given this man a huge amount of, uh, of pointers. Of what he needs to be doing with his uh, with his amazing Jack Knight deck, uh, because now I get to summon this over here, so it gets the boost by Skaldi to be 3K, and now your thing's negated. And I think your scars is boosting my stuff too. Yeah, yeah, it is. All right, cool. So now he's discarding another scars. All right, that's fair. You gotta do what you gotta do, my man. All right, so. Now, <laughs> he's got double Grinder Golem, which he can turn to attack mode, and he can suicide with this, and he, he can attack over this. So, I believe the play is that uh, if he attacks into my Skull Deep, I have to let that go. Um, okay, so Grinder Golem is attacking my Skull Deep. Sure. I have to let that one go. I'm okay with this. Now, if Grinder Golem tries to suicide with this, I'll just use my Lavender Dusk to banish it. And then we're all set. We're all good. Because he can't get over anything else with the rest of his board. Yep. All right. So, we'll, we'll do this. So, I've got Lavender Dusk and this coming back next turn. But I'll search for this. This seems like a good card to search. Uh, and now my deck is shuffled, so I could draw into key. I summoned three Skull Deets that turn. <laughs> oh boy. It's, that's the combo. Grinder Golem, Venus, Soul Charge. Three Skull Deets. No questions asked. Um, pick better Soul Charge targets than I did, though. That way you get, like, the most value. Um, honestly, all I needed to do was pick a, uh, a card that was not the Skull Deet in my grave as another target. And that probably would have been fine. But, I can't complain with the situation that I'm in. Uh, because I'm, I'm commanding this board. This board is mine to command. Uh, so these two will come back next turn. And... There's nothing much other to deal with than just attacking over the Grinder Golems. I mean, this deck doesn't play any like reactive traps as far as I'm aware. You don't have room for it. Uh, you, they're just not, they're not conducive to your engine. Like, I'm playing a bunch of engine cards. The two biggest threats on his field are the ones that I gave to him. 
Um, but so, yeah, we'll activate this. Um, this is Cobalt Depths. Okay, well, this is coming back over here. And then Lavender Dusk is coming back over here. All right. So now. So now. Um, I can use this one to banish itself to get it off the board. Uh, and then I can summon this. And we've still got ones in Grave that we can banish to use. Okay, my opponent has surrendered. <laughs> it's so simple. I have easy ways to deal with your stuff. Um, the thing is that, like, uh, I could summon this. I could banish this to search a card, special this from my hand because there's, you know, two columns. Or I could just use a Skull Deet. Well, actually, no, this isn't one that was summoned properly. Yeah, so I can't. Um, but I summon this. I banish Azure, uh, Azure Sky from my grave to pop the Grinder Golem. And then I just use Skull Deet to attack over something. Attack, attack, attack. I just be smart with my attacks. And everything should be good for me. Um, everything should be good for me. So, I'm going to go in for one more. Going to make this video probably a little bit longer, but fuck it. That's literally my motto. Alright, so let's see if we can have another, you know, wild and crazy game. Uh, where I probably vomit conducively onto the board. Alright, I've got Grinder Golem plus Venus. I mean, that if that's not vomiting onto the board, I don't know what is. Um, set one pass. Strong plays from a strong duelist. Special summon grinder golem! I'll teach you about strong plays. Hell yeah. I'm keeping this in. Fuck it. That is my motto. Fuck it. If you're gonna scoop to grinder golem when your amazing going first play was to set a card pass with your with your deck that has such an amazing amazingly high ceiling, then you deserve to not have fun. That's 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 the way. You could you could build your deck very easily. To deal with things. You can build your deck better where you don't just set a card pass. That's that's priority number one. Uh, I'm trying to not sound as elitist as possible, but like sometimes you just have to, you know, step back and look at yourself. Like this this game is different things for different people. Scoop to Venus. Wow. I'm keeping this in I'm keeping these in specifically because one, I'm just done. I'm just done, 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 done with it. But two because people legitimately just scoop before they see my deck. Like, they just literally, oh, I'll play a card, and they're like, I, oh, nope, I can't answer that card. I can't, my entire deck can't deal with a Venus or a Grinder Golem. And at that point, you, you have to reevaluate some things. I mean, my original point was, this game is different things for a lot of different people. Some people play it to have fun. Some people play it to just not give a shit. But there's a certain level of commitment you have to put into it if you're going to try and play online you have to respect the trends like you could play whatever deck you want you could play I could enter a game with like ghost tricks right now where that deck is literally really not optimal in any sense of the word I could enter a game with sub terrors I could enter a game with any tier 6 or below pile of garbage deck but I'm still going to enter to try to have fun but I'm also going to at least allocate a portion of my deck to cards that deal with trends and those are going to be cards like Ghost Ogre, Ash Blossom Effect, Veiler, things like that like if you were going to put traps in your deck you could probably put hand traps in it too um, thank god I drew this shine ball that's a sentence I never thought I'd say um, I'm going to make this into a Link Spider and I'm going to special this <laughs> Uh, special Shokan. Um, this is the worst that I could be possibly doing. I I literally hate Yu-Gi-Oh Pro. I hate Yu-Gi-Oh Pro. I feel like I need to start playing people on streams. Make like just tell them to be an honorable person and not stream snipe, and and then that way they get to play me for a video, which is something they might really just want to do. And then I get a video out of it. And then it also makes people more incite, uh, in, incentivized to go check out the streams. It lets people. It keeps me to a streaming schedule. It, it just. It's a bit. It sounds like such a beneficial relationship that it's something I just probably should not have been waiting this long to do anyway. I'll probably start doing that after I get back from Orlando. My opponent is scooped. The Yu-Gi-Oh Pro community used to be like at least decently good. I have no idea what made everything just take a literal dump on, like, the people that are playing. People are literally just cancer now. Like, it used to be at least tolerable. 
now it's just absolute cancer. It's just actually terrible. Uh, all right, cool. Yeah, my, my my one grinder golem is more powerful than your entire deck. You should probably reevaluate some things. So irritating. This is becoming more of a rage quit compilation video than it is a mech knight video. Okay, cool. The grinder golem at least touched down on the field. That's the most I've seen in a while. <laughs> like, people play this game for fun. At the at the heart of any hobby you're doing, you should be doing it to be having fun. Yeah? But if you're constantly just, like, scooping to a card that you don't like, that doesn't sound like fun to me. <laughs> constantly scooping like that just does not sound like it's a fun thing. Doesn't seem like it. It doesn't seem like it, and I'm not having fun. You're, you're sure? If you, if you were expecting to rob me of something, I mean, you kind of have. You've robbed me of my time. Uh, but at the same time, you've given me more time. Uh, by, instead of wasting time playing against you, since apparently your entire deck can't beat one grinder golem. <sighs> the thing is, you're allowed to have fun at this game. You're allowed to play to have fun. What that means is different for most people. For me, I play to have fun... And my version of having fun is playing the best that I can and either winning or losing. If I play the best that I possibly can and I still lose, I probably had a blast. Because I learned that I did something wrong, I'm able to dissect something, uh, extrapolate a new piece of information, something like that. If your idea of having fun is to just play rogue decks online, perfect. I, I fuck with that sometimes too. But, you have to approach things with a certain degree of expectation. You can't just play and expect for other people to just not be playing good cards. That's not how this works. The fun that I find in playing rogue strategies is to try and make them as good as possible. It's literally what I'm doing in this very video is taking a deck that is probably going to be garbage when it comes out and trying to find any way possible to make it as good and consistently a performer. But, ah, my opponent's just going to time out. I'm just going to sit here and chat for a bit then. They, he's giving me time to chat. Um, but, like, legitimately, you have to, if you're going to, if you want to take up, like, go-kart racing, Yeah? You're not going to show up to a go-kart track with a riding lawnmower and be like, I'm here to go-kart race. It's not how that works. There is a certain level of involvement you need to put into it before you even should have the chance to like try to inspect to compete. Like You're not going to do that. You're not going to show up to a go-kart race with something that's not a go-kart. Or at least something that resembles a go-kart that is built to perform in a go-kart race. You're not going to show up to a live round ammunition shooting range with a paintball gun. You're not going to step into a boxing ring without boxing gloves. You're not going to go in so vastly underprepared that shit just takes dumps on you and you just lose to a single card because your deck's not capable of dealing with it. Looks like we might have an actual match here, so I probably should stop ranting and start focusing. I'm not even ranting, I'm just giving a discussion. Like, I'm actually just speaking from my mind. It's like, you can play whatever you want to play in Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be able to play this deck. It's terrible, you should be playing to win. You you shouldn't have, you don't have to play the best deck to play to win. You can play whatever deck you want, but at the core of the, at the, at the, at the core of the matter, at the, like, at the heart of the matter, why are you playing Yu-Gi-Oh? Why are you playing a game in which there can be a winner or a loser if your intent is not to win? Um, that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest thing that I have the hardest time understanding is how do you enter a game and play a game for fun where there is a winner or a loser and you're not trying to win? You can play whatever deck you want. I could enter a game, I can enter a tournament tomorrow with Dragoonities, a deck that literally is garbage by all standards. But when I enter that event, 
you bet your ass that deck that dragoony deck is going to be teched out in the best way i possibly can to make it perform as consistently as possible and to deal with meta trends or deal with the trends and cards that i expect to see the most because i'm going into that event trying to win with my dragoony deck i'm trying to have fun because i'm playing a deck that i really enjoy but i'm also trying to not get literally destroyed and i don't understand how people just don't approach the game like that i don't get it it, it boggles my mind <laughs> it literally confuses the worst it confuses every bone in my body i don't understand um we're gonna we're gonna force this dark law we're gonna force this dark law and then beat over it special summon activate effect to get two searches if you don't chain mass change to this i don't know what you're gonna chain it to um but yeah like i'm not trying to sound elitist i'm not trying to sound like an asshole i'm just trying to speak in i'm just trying to present my opinion my point of view why would you play a game that at its core is inherently competitive by nature and why would you why would you play that game if you are not going to try to win play whatever you want but play what you want and try to win like it's it's just it's it confuses the shit out of me at times and so hashtag slash end rant i guess i don't know um but yeah i don't, I don't even care about trying to keep this in tcg league anymore i just want this video to end i've already filmed one game that was kind of long i've got a bunch of rage quitters and i've had probably a really a really profound discussion um i don't know i wouldn't know what a profound discussion is if it came up and bit me in the ass um but uh let's see special grinder golem and now uh i get to go for my firewall dragon firewall dragon firewall dragon i should probably get rid of this yeah uh we'll get rid of these into the firewall um and now i can activate this i'm gonna call true depths as always <sighs> because that's like just the best card to have uh, i'm surprised he's not just shotgunning this dark law oh they went a shine ball well that's fine i can still do the combo with two ah. let me know in the comments down below if you think that i'm being unreasonable in any of my thought processes with that because i think that it, i think that it's just I think that it's something that you should do. You should you should respect the things that have to go into trying to win in a game that's inherently so you mask change now. What an odd time to be mask changing. I mean I still just I beat over the Dark Law. I mean you probably have Honesty Neos in your hand, or if you don't have Honesty Neos in your hand you're going to now. But <laughs> this is not a problem. Because now I put the... What was that? Vion? Alright. Cool. Alright, well. I'm going to special summon these tokens. Uh, and I'm going to special this grinder golem back here. All you in the back row. Um, let's see. We'll summon this. Then we'll use this to banish an Azur Sky. Pop the Dark Law. Um, and then we'll banish the other Azur Sky. To pop the grinder golem. <laughs> uh, no. Don't chain anything. Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> so like, um, one of these is gonna turn into Link Karibo. Uh This is like really amusing and LOL cool. I can't tell if that's sarcasm or not, but you know what? I'll take it. I, I outed the Dark Law. I won this game. I've got all these things in my hand. Uh, so like the the play that I have access to, right, is to use the Link Karibo in my grave, tribute a token, bring the Link Karibo out. Uh, I can link away with Akashic. A token, Link Karibo, and this into Skulldeet up here. Firewall will trigger to summon a monster from my hand, so I summon one of these things over in some zone. Then I have the ability to Skulldeet special card from hand, and then uh, things just become really in my favor because I can just uh, I can just um, I can keep this zone open. And do I have enough stuff in my grave to banish to pop? Even if I don't, I doubt it matters um, because the Skulldeet is going to draw me cards put back stuff so I've I should have some form of um, of way to put things onto the field I don't know but anyway I guess that's gonna be the end of this one this one took a turn that I didn't expect it to when uh, when I started but oh well but yeah so anyway that one's gonna be it for this video uh, sorry if it was a bit ranty but if you agree with what I said 
If you agree with at least the basis of my points, let me know in the comments down below. If you have any, like, uh, criticisms, then let me know in the comments down below. But for summarization, the point that I made, the point that I'm trying to make is that, yes, you can play Yu-Gi-Oh! to have fun. I don't understand how you could have fun losing. You can play whatever deck you want that you enjoy the most to have fun, but you should always be trying to win with that deck. You should build that deck to win based off what you know trends are. There shouldn't be this situation where you literally are scooping to Venus or scooping to Grinder Golem because that one card is more powerful than your entire deck. You can play whatever deck you want, but approach the situation with the mindset of making your deck as good as you possibly can and as prepared as you possibly can to win in the metagame that we basically have, the online metagame, if you can call it that. It's literally Grinder Golem City. Like, that's the thing. Grinder Golem's everywhere. How are you not expecting this and just building your deck for it? I don't understand. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. This one took a turn that I didn't expect, like I've already said, but maybe you guys enjoyed it, maybe you didn't. Let me know in the comments down below, as always. But links, as always, are in the description down below to my Facebook fan page, as well as my personal Patreon page. If you like the content I've been doing and want to support it directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. Even something as little as a dollar a month is a fantastic way to show your support. Helps out a ton, and you have my eternal gratitude if that's something you would like to do, if that's a path you would like to go down. Like I said, helps out a ton. But other than that, as I may have already said, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Thanks for your time as usual, guys. And take care. I'll see you in the next video. This is... Uh, this has been a trip. So now the video is over. As usual, I'd like to give a special thanks to Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, Troy Perkins, Eric Gertson, Tour Guides Guy, and Ringleader, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You guys help out a ton, way more than I could ever express. You have my eternal gratitude, and you guys are forever awesome. Thank you so much for the support, you guys.